chapter number two, beginning with verse number eight. Now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them. And they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings yes. of great joy, good news, good news. which will be to all people. Yes, God. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling cloths, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the heights, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. Amen. The word of the Lord is blessed. Amen. For a few moments on today, I want to talk to you from the subject a found cause. A found cause. As incarnational people, we experience, experience the highs and the lows of being connected by faith to the incarnation of Jesus Christ. Sometimes, my brothers and my sisters, our walk of faith travels a smooth path. And other times, the way we take can get quite uneven and seem irregular along the way. I believe that we can all agree that life as soldiers in the army of the Lord is not easy. There are moments as we strive to walk in the maturing holiness of God. We experience the fulfillment of the call. And there are times when we endure moments of severe pain in the midst of the process. Have you ever been there? We have all had spiritual breaking points where we wanted to explode with disappointment. We've all had moments where we have contemplated giving up our predestined assignment never to return to the church again. That's true. And we've all at some point hung our heads with an eye with eyes full of tears as we experience the low points in life, as we strive to do our best work in excellence, and as we strive to be connected to God. In the midst of the unforeseen, we come across cross people and situations that we feel are lost causes. A lost cause. My brothers and my sisters, is someone or something that has no chance of success. However, as believers, in the true and living God, we know that we can succeed. We have the capability to walk in victory. And we've got hope for tomorrow simply because of the incarnation of Jesus the Christ. Furthermore, due to the fact 
that we can't succeed to. Due to the fact that we have the capability of walking in victory. And because we got hope for tomorrow, we know that when we find Jesus, we don't find the lost cause. But my brothers and my sisters, I want to encourage you on this Christmas day that what the shepherds stumbled across when they were directed to Jesus was a found cause. He's a found cause because in Jesus we find success. He's a found cause because in Jesus we find the victory. He's a found cause because there is hope in Jesus not only for today but for tomorrow and evermore. Beloved, I want to let you know that Jesus is worth believing in. Understand on today that life in Jesus is worth the wait. Life in Jesus is worth those sacrifices that we have to endure. Life with Jesus is worth those frustrating times when we have to deal with one another. Life with Jesus is worth putting in the work. Life with Jesus is worth doing all that we can to and for the glory of God. Life with Jesus is worth living even in the midst of persecution. Why? Because Jesus is a theological and applicable answer to all we need. My brothers and my sisters, Jesus is a found cause. Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14 reads, Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son. And will call him a man with Which means he is God with us. Tell your neighbor, Jesus is a found cause. Tell the story. As we look at the book of Luke, we understand that both Luke and Acts are addressed to Theophilus. Luke addresses Theophilus as most excellent. And he also uses this term when he describes Roman governors, Felix and Phoebus. This leads me to believe, my brothers and my sisters, that Theophilus was more than likely a man of great wealth. It has a strong social standing. And the term most excellent was simply a sign of respect when addressing him. But I want you to understand that Luke's larger audience was mainly made up of Gentile Christians who have been saved and they had already been taught about Jesus. But see, what he wanted to do, he wanted to ensure the Gentiles, those Gentile Christians, on, of the accuracy yes. and authenticity of what they had been taught. And to help them understand how Israel's rejection of Jesus and the Gentiles' entrance into the kingdom are according to God's divine plan. Yeah. In the text, we find the shepherds working. They're working diligently in the field. Yes, they are. Let me throw this in parenthetically. Yes, they are. 
when Jesus shows up on scene. He needs to find his people working. Not sitting at home, but working. So the shepherds were working diligently in the field, and they were in the process of watching over their sheep at night. And suddenly, while working, God's angels stood among them, and God's glory blazed around them. This caused those shepherds to get scared. The most important term that I observe is don't be afraid. And this brings us to encouragement on this Christmas 2022 because we understand that he has gone with us. And if God be with us, we don't have to be afraid. Trouble may come. Don't be afraid. Because God is for us. Who can be against us? So when, they, when trouble comes, there's no need to fear. In the midst of an oppressive of society, there's no need to fear. When the road is rough and the going gets tough, my brother says, my sister, there's no need to fear. Sometimes things that happen in life baffle us, but there's no need to fear. Evil schemes have become the norm in our society. But you can stand firm because there's no need to fear. There's no need to fear because simply my soul trusts in God. My brothers and my sisters, simply be still and allow your soul to trust in God. He promised he would never leave you nor forsake you. Allow your soul to trust in God. He's always close because he's God with us. Allow your soul to trust in God. Do you know he's a calm in the midst of the storm? He's a bridge over troubled water. Allow your soul to trust in God. The evil one is going to try to tear you down as a kid. But allow your soul to trust in God. The key phrase here, why we have no fear, is because he says, I bring you good news. That will cause great joy. And it's for everybody. So he had good news. This good news brings great joy. And this good news that brings great joy. Everybody. It's for everybody. This passage. It lets us know that in the midst of trying to be productive as we serve, Jesus is God with us. And that lets us know and gives us encouragement that Jesus is close. And because he's close, you don't have to worry. You don't have to fret. When adversity rises, why? Because Jesus is our Savior. He is the Messiah and He is the Lord. He is a God that informs, He is a God that reassures. And we know that God's presence gives us courage. And we know that he guides us. So with all that said, on this Christmas morning, 2022, how 
does the birth of Jesus. Remove uncertainty in the midst of times that have the potential to bring us fear. I'm going to say it one more time. I'm not going to hold you long. But how about the birth of Jesus? Remove uncertainty in the midst of times that have the potential to bring about fear. Number one, it's in the text. The announcement to the shepherds confirms he is our Savior. Yes, he is. Jesus came to take away the sins of the world. Yes. So he's our Savior. Point number two, the declaration to the shepherds yes. gives us reassurance that Jesus is the Christ. That means he is the promised Messiah. Yes. Point number three, the proclamation to the shepherds gives confirmation from the slayer that this Jesus, he is the Lord God. Yes. My God. Isn't it good to know that in the incarnation we find success? Isn't it good to know that in the incarnation, we find the victory. Yeah. Yes, sir. Isn't it good to know that in the incarnation, we find hope? Yeah. So on today, we find great value Preach. in celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. Yeah. There are going to be problems in our lives. But there's great value in celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. Situations may cause you to stumble, but there's great value in celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. There may be stagnation. There may be procrastination in our lives, but there's great value in celebrating the birth of Jesus. Our hearts may be broken and we may find ourselves in an isolated state, but there's great value in celebrating the birth of Jesus. My brothers and my sisters, struggles will come and disasters are unavoidable, but there's great value in celebrating the birth of Jesus. The song writer says, he rules the world with truth and with grace, and he makes the nation prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love. Joy to the world so we can have a growing faith because the Lord is come. We can have unity with one another because the Lord is come. We can go boldly to the next level of our service because the Lord is come. We can prepare for 2023 because the Lord is come. We can live in a state of righteous progression because the Lord is come. We can have a great focus because the Lord is come. We can work in excellence. We can walk in excellence. We can strive to achieve the greater because the Lord is come. See, tomorrow, I don't know where I might be. Tomorrow, I don't know if I will be, but I know God hold the future and I know he cares for me God created us as an extension of his love 
he redeems and he cares. Man sinned and was separated. He redeems, he cares. But we have a covenant making God, a covenant keeping God, a covenant enabling God. He redeems, he cares. See the Holy Ghost, stirred Mary's womb. He redeems, he cares. Jesus came through 40 and two generations. He redeemed. He cares. Joseph was unsure about the engagement. He redeems. He cares. God said, Joseph, don't be afraid. Because he redeems. He cares. Baby Jesus fulfilled the prophecies of his arrival. He redeems. He cares. There was no room in the end. He was born of a virgin. He was wrapped in swallowing clothes. He was born in a manger to redeem a wretch like me. See, I once was lost. The wretch slayer. I was found. I was blind. But now I see. Today, I thank God for sending Jesus for saving someone unworthy like me. See, in him, we find a resting place. We find in him a firm foundation. We find in him joy, unspeakable joy. We find in him more love and greater rest. We find in him mercy and more peace. He's our pathway to deliverance. He's the roadway to righteousness. He's the doorway to salvation. He's Jesus, Mary's baby, the Prince of Peace, the Almighty God, the lover of my soul, the Most High. He sees all. He knows all. And when we find Jesus, we find a true and living call. Are you searching for something that will brighten your life? Some of us are searching. Are you longing for something to relieve this earthly strife? Are you searching and are you seeking from day to night? I encourage you to simply seek Jesus, my brothers and my sisters. He is our comfort. And he is our light. He's a found cause. Because we him. We find true success. But how does the birth of Jesus remove uncertainty in the midst of times that have the potential to bring about fear? Let me encourage you, and I'm not going to get out your way. Come on, take your time. Number one. The announcement to the shepherds confirms he came to save us. The declaration to the shepherds gives us reassurance that this Jesus, this baby born in Bethlehem, is the Christ, the Messiah that was promised of old. And understand, as the Messiah, he fulfilled everything. Every prophecy about him in the Old Testament. He's the Messiah. Yes, he came to redeem, to save, save. to encourage, yes. to teach, yes. to love, and to be our example. Yes. 
He's our Savior. Yes, he is. He's the Christ. Yeah. But last but not least, this proclamation to the shepherds gives confirmation that this Jesus, this baby, that was born of a virgin, come on, is the Lord. Two of you be encouraged on today. Yes, sir. Yes. Sister yes. Stacy, when the shepherds found Jesus, yes. they didn't find the lost cause. <laughs> right on his Come on. They found yes. a savior. Yes. A Messiah. And the Lord, and He is the man well. Which means He is God with us. That's it. Yes. So God before you. Lord, Lord, Lord. Who can stand against you? Because guess what? You got a found cause. Their success. Their victory. And because of the incarnation of the kill, we have hope. Yes. 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 Lord. Yes. 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 Yeah. 